morning and happy Sabbath. So today, we're going to highlight one of our own, just like Esther, Deborah, and so many other amazing women in the Bible. We also have amazing um, women in the Bible here, in the <laughs> amazing women here at Tabernacle that lead out um, day to day. And one of those very, um, our very own is going to be Ryan Carrington. If she could please come up for it. And if I could get ACP, Pathfinders, Olivia, Dr. Davis, Ms. Facilier, all of you please come up. So I'm going to start reading. And my flowers, our beautiful flowers, thank you. <laughs> Ryan Carrington, A Journey of Dedication and Overcoming Challenges. Ryan Carrington's dream of becoming a teacher began at a tender age of seven. However, her path was far from easy. In the fourth grade, Ryan and her family discovered she was dyslexic, necessitating her placement in special education classes. Despite the challenges, Ryan remained determined to achieve her goal. With unwavering support from her family, especially her mom, Sheila Carrington, Sister Carrington, is she here? Can she stand? She went upstairs. Okay, she's helping us upstairs in the kitchen. And a few exceptional teachers, she worked diligently to overcome the obstacles in her way. By the time Ryan was ready for high school, she had not only tested out of special education, but she also transitioned into mainstream education, eventually being promoted to honors classes at Miami Norland Senior High School, home of the Vikings. Her perseverance and hard work paid off when she graduated from Oakwood University in 2013, OUOC, with a bachelor's degree in elementary education. Currently, she is furthering her education by pursuing a double master's in education and business administration. Ryan's favorite Bible verse is 1 Peter 2, verse 9. Serves as a guide and light in her life, reminding her that she is called and chosen by God to do his work, his faith, and have a sense of purpose. Ryan has received numerous awards and recognitions throughout her career. In 2006, she was honored with the Silver Knights Award for speech in Miami, in Miami, Florida, and was featured in the May edition of the Southern Titan magazine. After founding the Serenity Foundation in 20, 2009, she continued to excel in her professional endeavors. In 2014, she was named Radio One Teacher of the Week in Richmond, Virginia. Featured in April edition of the Back to Basic magazine and recognized as Teacher of the Month by the City of Richmond. Her excellence in teaching was further acknowledged in 2016 when she was awarded the Golden Apple Teacher of the Month. <laughs> and she was also nominated for Teacher of the Year in the City of Montgomery, Alabama. Additionally, her class was featured in Montgomery, Alabama's um, Parent Magazine during 2016-2017 school year. In 2023, Ryan conducted a session on collaboration ministries at the NAD Educators Convention in Phoenix, Arizona. She has also been a presenter at the school's United Conference, the top conference of the Christian educators in Florida. With a decade of teaching experience across the state, three states, Virginia, Alabama, and Florida, Ryan has spent the last six years at Miami Union Adventist Academy. Her role has varied from teaching K through eight grade and serving as vice principal K through eight, and currently K through eight vice principal 
and Director of Recruitment and Marketing. Ryan is passionate about holistic development of children, believing that the best learning occurs when home and school work together. Beyond her professional achievements, Ryan is a multifaceted individual. She has dedicated daughter, sister, aunt, and friend, and is deeply involved in her community and church. Amen, Tabernacle? Amen. <laughs> as a member of the Tabernacle Seventh-day Adventist Church in Miami, she serves as the Pathfinder Director and part of the hospitality team. Additionally, she sits on the board of the trustees of, for Albert C. Pierre Community Service Center and directs the Hope Summer Camp, which focuses on bringing STEM education to children in Little Haiti and Miami Shores area. And her mom just came up, so let's give her mom a hand as well. <laughs> because she wouldn't be here without her mom, right? So <laughs> this camp also prevents, sorry, Hope Summer Camp also helps prevent summer learning loss and provides a safe, enriching environment for children to develop social, emotional skills. Ryan has also is also an accomplished speaker, author, and educational blogger from My Teach Life, and then you can find it on www.myteachlife.org. She um, owns her own business and a non-private organization, the Serenity Foundation, which supports women in overcoming self-esteem challenges due to life events. Despite her many responsibilities, Ryan remains deeply committed to addressing the mental health issues within her school community. She recognizes the profound impact of COVID-19 on students, teachers, and staff, and advocates for better mental health support for both students and educators. Ryan is passionate about creating an environment where children and teachers can thrive. Understanding that mental health of teachers is crucial for the overall well-being of students. Ryan's journey is a testament to resilience, dedication, and the transforma transformative power of education. Her story inspires many, providing that, proving that with determination and support, any obstacle can be overcome. Now, I spoke about Ryan based on her bio and everything that we know as far as a professional. But many of us know her personally, and we know that Ryan is someone that you can call on whenever needed, um, including taking care of even puppy. Yeah. <laughs> right, Coco's gonna miss you. So Ryan is getting ready to move on to a new chapter in her life. She is gonna be leaving us um, to move to Georgia where she's gonna be one of the associate superintendents, and we are so proud of her. So we, so today, as we're continuing, we have one of her little favorite people who's going to um, say a few words for Ryan. Come on, Olivia. Do you have your stuff? Or is it back there? Okay, look right up here. You see that? Good morning. They say that in on 100 years from now, it won't matter what job you had or kind or what kind of car you drove or how much money you made. What will matter? is the difference you made in the shot in the life of a child messy you have made the difference in my life i want to say thank you for being an awesome person thank you for all that you did for me at summer camp school and at church.
Thank you for our girls' day. <laughs> and Park Days, from the bottom of my heart to the tip of my toes, I want to say you're the best. I will miss you a lot. And I can't wait to visit you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So Olivia was actually one of our summer camp um, students who came to us. And um, let's just say we had some concerns academically. And um, Ryan decided to share those concerns with mom told her about Miami Union Adventist Academy. We got her enrolled, and Olivia is doing 100% better Amen. than where she was before. <laughs> Not only did she do that, but she also brings Olivia to church with her. So you will see Ryan with Olivia all the time. <laughs> so that's what teaching and being a part of education is, regardless if you're a teacher, um, administrator, whatever your role is. It's investing in our children. And Ryan, we thank you for that part. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Principal CLEA. And then we have Dr. Davis, who actually was the one who hired her. And we'll follow from there. Good morning, church. I was privileged enough to be hired as principal of Miami Union Adventist Academy seven years ago. And at the same time, so it was, it was seven years ago, not six years, <laughs> that uh, Ms. Carrington also began working at MUA, and she began working as our fifth grade teacher at that time. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty obvious to me the, since the very beginning of the passion, uh, the commitment, and the genuine love that Ryan, uh, Ms. Carrington, had for each kid and for Miami Union Adventist Academy. And, and I, couldn't, I couldn't wait until I had the opportunity to take that passion and that love and, and elevate it to an administrative role. And, and as soon as we had the opportunity, we did that. And for the last uh, five years, she has served as our uh, vice principal. And, 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 and not only that, I mean, uh, Ms. Ms. Carrington has an uncanny ability to touch uh, many different things outside of her job description. And those things have been flourish. And, and she, put, cause she puts her heart into it. She put her mind into it. She put her all into everything that she does. And, you know, I, I needed a good, strong, right-hand woman. And that's exactly what I got in Ms. Carrington. And I'm just very grateful for the time that she gave us during this last seven years uh, to each one of us, to each child. But personally, to me, uh, thank you for everything you do. And I know that God will bless you in abundance anywhere you go. Thank you, Ms. Carrington. Good morning, everyone, and happy Sabbath. Congratulations again to our graduates, especially Nurse Ganza. Special to me because I taught her when she was very young. However, today it's my privilege, and I had to write my stuff down. I'm so sorry, I'm getting old. But today it's my privilege and honor to say a few words to an ever-blooming rose in God's vineyard. Amen. Ryan Carrington has been a blessing to us here in Southeastern. And it was not mentioned, but she was Teacher of the Year. And we honor her for her work at Miami Union Adventist Academy, as you hear her principal so rightly state. Most of us can say we watched Ms. Carrington blossom and grow professionally, maturing uh, and mastering her craft as teacher and vice principal. She invested so much 
time facilitating learning for her students. And I'm sure if they were all here, the thank yous would be resounding. Ms. Carrington, thanks. Thanks to you for giving up your time, talent, and resources, and for leaving an indelible mark in the hearts and minds of our students. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You invested in Seventh-day Adventist Christian education, and you invested well. I want to publicly thank Ms. Carrington, and I'm thanking her in the area of professional development. I usually use our educators to do our professional development as long as I know that they're skilled enough. And Ms. Carrington is one of them who never backs down and always willing, and I wanna say thank you. What you have done really is that you have helped learners to become teachers to become better at what they do in facilitating learning, and we thank you. Recently, God saw it fit to have you to soar to new heights. May his blessings continue with you as you assume your new position as associate superintendent in the South Atlantic Conference. And I know that you'll continue to bloom even more where you're planted. As you transition to another area in God's vineyard, my desire for you is in tune with the old Irish blessing which says, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm on your face and rain falls soft on your fields and until we meet again. And I'll be seeing you. <laughs> God has blessed me um, with helping South Atlantic with a few things. So until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Congratulations. Amen. And if we have any teachers or staff from Miami Union and Fitness Academy, if you could stand at this time. Students, please stand as well. Anybody who has also attended Hope Summer Camp, please stand as well. Pathfinders, please stand. Ryan, on behalf of all of those who are standing and many of them who couldn't make it today, we just want to say thank you so much. At this time, thank you all. We appreciate you. And we are going to miss you. We're going to have Alba C. Pierre come up at this time and present. Thank you. Thank you all. You may be seated. Alba C. Pierre members, if you can stand, if any of you are in the audience. Now, many of you know Alba C. Pierre. We are the nonprofit organization that uh, works in tandem with Tabernacle Church. Um, and we are here today because we, we just wanna make sure Ryan knows how much she is valued by our organization. She has been a board member and is our director for our summer camp. And I know if, if you came in today, you saw some of the signs for our summer hope camp. She's been that director. She's been that person that has made sure that our young people that come in from our community, from our church, from various areas, are serviced throughout the summer, not only just to give them something to do and to keep them busy, but she also makes sure that their education is attended to. She tests them at the beginning of the summer to see where they are, and by the end of the summer, she wants to see the growth in them in the various areas, especially the STEM areas. So, Ryan, I don't know what we're going to do. What, what, what are we going to do? But I do know that we're going to take what she's done and we're going to build on that. So we are so grateful for what she has done. And we're going to continue to build on that. So thank you, board members. Um, and this is from all of us to you. Have find us at this time. You have heard a lot of um, good
good things about Ryan and all her accomplishments, but I'm here to represent the most important yes. phase of her life, yes. and that is the Pathfinder organization. I've known uh, Ryan for many, many years. I've watched her from, from um, adventurers, friends, companions, explorer, ranger, voyager, guide, and the youngest master guide in the conference. Yep. And also she is one, I only one I know who have the PLA award. Mm. That's the step above my master guy. And I've, <clears throat> I've watched her grow for a long time and she have developed and I just wanna say, God be with you, yeah. all right? I know she, they, she called me Uncle Baldwin, but <laughs> I feel, you know, feel like she's really part of a family, family at Tabernacle, my own personal family, a daughter I didn't have. And I just want to wish you all the best, and God be with you wherever you go. So on behalf of the Pathfinders, we just want to give you a little token of appreciation. It's not a lot, but at least for guests to get you to. Um, <laughs> at, at okay, now we'll go to education. So from the education department here at Tabernacle, um, again, all our educators, please stand up. Teachers, social workers, home and school, education department. Thank you, all our educators here at Tabernacle. So we know what it is to be in the classroom, to be in the school setting, to identify what our students need and how we are there to help them. Ryan has been uh, an example um, to help us all. She's also helped with um, helping us build, and I know um, Doctor talked about it earlier, talked about building the, the capacity for learning even within the teachers. So that's something she's even done here. So Ryan, again, we are so grateful. And uh, you know, Uncle Baldwin talked about going back. You know, it's never too late to have that daughter, by the way. You know, <laughs> think about Sarah, all right. But anyway, um, I digress. Uh, so it's very important to recognize that Ryan, um, I kind of knew Ryan before Ryan knew herself, Ryan knew herself if that's a thing. Yeah. Um, Auntie Sheila was my first um, babysitter and the only one my mom would allow, by the way, for many people. Uh, so, um, you know, knew her from knee high. So uh, this goes um, without saying that you know that whenever you need us, whenever you need me, you know. I'm there, to, you know, it's just a, just a little hop and a skip. I don't drive past four hours, but I'll fly. <laughs> okay, this is from education. Thank you. So I know we took a bit of a couple of minutes, not too long, but we had to do this, okay? Ryan has been our child from since five months old. And to see her journey and um, the challenges, the obstacles, the different things that she has overcome is truly a testament, even to our graduates. Graduates, this is to show yes. proof yes. that you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to, okay? Once you keep God first, anything is possible. Ryan, I know I'm putting you on the spot if you want to say a few words and then we will continue because I know my media section is looking at me like, come on, Marlene, amen. What a, first of all, thank you, everybody. If you know me, you know words of affirmation is my love language. So I'm, my cup is overflowing right now. But what I want to say is tabernacle. Everything that I am is because you poured into me. If you are looking for a home church, if you are looking for a church that will pour into your children, if you're looking into a church that will pour into you as a person. It's this place. From crawling underneath the pews as a child to working in offices upstairs. It is this building. It is this place. It are these people 
Pastors come and go, but these people <laughs> care and they invest in your children and they invest in your families. If you are a current member of Tabernacle, I thank you for pouring into me over the years. I thank you for your leadership, your wisdom, your words that you have given to me during difficult times. Uncle Kasi, I remember when I graduated, you gave me the footstep poem, and I've never forgotten the poem. I have it, the words that I live by to this day. The prayers that you have prayed for me as a church is why I am who I am. I tell my mom, everything I do is to make you proud. Everything I do is to make her proud, you proud, and God proud. I thank you, Tabernacle, for investing in me. I am just a phone call away. You are my heart. And Uncle Bond knows that Pathfinders is a deeper, special place in my heart. Because if anything happens to me, I always joke and say it, but it's true. The church may not be in my will, but Pathfinders is in my will. So <laughs> I'm telling you, those legacy offerings, let them outlive you. Pour and invest into Tabernacle. Thank you, everybody. Amen. And following um, service, we will have, we'll have a special luncheon. If those of you who want to give tribute, you could do it upstairs. Amen.